Hey everybody, Big Mike Mike here. Today I am playing a pre-alpha version of a game called The Wild 8. This one of course came from Game Jolt. Um, looks like they just came through a Kickstarter. They were successfully funded, um, so they're going to be creating this game. Sounds like they'll be doing a, um, a uh, Windows release early, earlier, earlier this year. They're going to go back in time and do a release earlier this year, which I'm just doing the pre-alpha now. No, they're going to be doing a release on Steam uh, coming up later this year. Sounds like maybe... Uh, uh, in the fall sometime. Um, also planning on an Xbox One release. Don't have really a date on that one yet. Uh, sounds like there is an Indiegogo that's going for this, so if you still want to uh, contribute to the development of the game, sounds like you can do that. Um, not 100% on that. If it is there, I'll go ahead and put a link to that down in the description like normal. But, as you can probably tell by the title screen here, uh, we just crashed. Crash in the plane. Uh, we're somewhere up in Alaska where it is really, really cold. And as you can see, probably you've assumed uh, down in the lower right hand corner, it is intended to be a multiplayer game, uh, which will be in the final release. Right now it is just a single player game, so let's go ahead and uh, jump on into that. Um, I did play a little bit about of this before, I'm just kind of getting used to the controls and how everything looks and feels and everything like that. Um, but I haven't gone too far. I have died a couple times, so it's... Uh, I don't know why it's, it just seems like it's really easy for me to die. Partly due to the cold. It seems like cold and, and uh, hunger are the two things that you die most quickly from. Which makes sense, I suppose, because look how cold it is. It's snowing everywhere. Alright, so we've got a tutorial that we're going to go through, as you can see, using WASD to move. And the mouse will just kind of spin us around and we can click on things. So we are going to follow our tutorial and we're going to build ourselves a shelter. Um, so using the uh, action icons down here, B for build, shelter, so I need, okay, so I'm going to put my shelter right here. That looks good, right? And you can spin it around using the mouse. So let's just pop that guy there. I should probably say too, while before we get too far into this, um, lower left, this is where our all your meters are going to be, so your health. Um, your stamina, hunger, and your cold. And you can see, I mean, you can just watch that dropping already. It drops really fast. So now I'm going to get together some uh, wood and stone. Before I do that, I'm going to get myself some food just because I know where a little bit is. Um, so like right here, there's a can of food. It does nothing really to, nothing obvious about it. Um, seems like some of the stuff you can click on, like some of the stuff that you feel like maybe you should be able to, you really can't. Um, one of the things that, you know, I'm kind of curious about, okay, so I got the food, is, you know, how far away you can be. So, like, from here, that, that one I was able to click on and, and pick it up automatically, didn't have to be too close to it. But, like, this one, that, that this far away, and, I don't know, maybe it can cause problems in other parts of the gameplay, but it kind of seemed like if I, should, if I click on that, it should just take me to... Uh, the item that I'm clicking on. And I'll tell you what, instead of standing there blabbing about picking up cans of food, I'm going to go punch this big boulder because I got hands made of steel. And I'm just going to grab a whole bunch of these while I'm over here. Um, as you can see down in the lower left, uh, my temperature meter is dropping precipitously, uh, which is a word that I almost said correctly. And you get a nice uh, visual indicator all around the screen where it turns kind of uh, red and there's a heartbeat sound and that wild boar is scaring me I am going to die I'm gonna leave this area <laughs> yeah he's coming after me I'm gonna go down actually I'm gonna pick up this can of food while I'm here I don't have a fire yet so I don't want to freeze so I'm gonna come over here because luckily the plane is still on fire so I'm gonna stand here um, before I go and get some wood for my campfire or shelter wait yeah and I'm going to soak up some of the heat from the plane that's on fire. All of my fellow passengers are probably still in there burning, fueling the fire for my warmth. Um, I would think I would definitely um, would look forward to this as the multiplayer game. Only because, like I said, with the, you know, like the food and the heat seem to drop really fast. So it would be nice to be able to kind of break up into, you know, everybody kind of has their own responsibility maybe. That's not good. What does that noise mean? <laughs> I don't know what that noise meant. Oh, maybe it means I'm getting hungry. All right. So I'm going to build. Um, how do I? Oh, I have to go in here to build the fire. Okay, so I'm going to research the fire. Um, I need. Oh, shit. I forget. 
<laughs> I forgot to get wood. So now I have to go back outside and get some wood. I need to go punch a tree. And you know what? I'm going to double click on that can of food and I'm going to eat some food before I punch in the tree. So like right here, I feel like I'm... I, it, the game knows what I want to do. I've got the little hatchet. Am I getting anything? No. Come down. Okay, you got to be like right in the exact right place. Facing the tree while you're punching it. I mean, come on, game. You know what I'm trying to do here. Just give me some stupid... Okay, so now I can... Yeah, I'm just going to keep going as long as I'm sitting here. And take this tree down before I research. Oh, that's frustrating. Come on. This tree... There we go. You can hear probably hear me clicking furiously. Alright, so to do some research, I'm going to go into my shelter here. And this is where you do your research. So you've got your diverse, uh, various texts, uh, you can stamina, and various tactics. So I'm going to research this campfire. I need 15 wood, I need 5 stone, I've got that. Uh, yes, that's what I want to do. So now I know how to build a campfire. So I'm going to leave there, and that is exactly what I'm going to do right now. Is, oop, I need 20 wood to build this, uh, to build my campfire. I've lost my keys here. Um... Let's take... Okay, that boar is getting way too close for my comfort. I'm afraid he's going to attack me while I'm trying to build my campfire. Oh, shit. I'm going to freeze. I have to go back. I have to... Please make it to the fire. <laughs> that was really close. So maybe while I'm standing here, that'll give that boar... Hopefully, he will... Oh, dude, you're going right where I need to go. I don't know if it's going to attack me, but I... I've seen... Okay, so I've seen that... I've seen that boar now. I've seen, oh shit, go away, leave me alone, leave, leave me alone, can we sneak out of here, can everybody be quiet, shh, oh that didn't, okay, so anyway, I've seen that boar, uh, I've seen deer, no, yeah, there's a can of food, I'll snag that while I'm here, um, seen deer and rabbits, so I assume I'll be able to hunt those at some point, um, build a campfire right here, and okay so click on your campfire to light it every try will cost you one wood oh boy all right so let's go ahead and light this so we can keep warm failed that's not cool all right second try so i got that tutorial build a workshop first i'm gonna eat a can of my food i'm i'm uh i've got one can of food left this is not good so i assume i'm gonna need more wood i don't have a lot of that just yet so let me uh, i'm gonna take down this tree I have to get real close, and I can't see it very well. Come on, just give me the tree. There we go. All right. Slow and steady wins the race in cutting down trees. All right, so I got that. Uh, I've got 50 wood, 7 or 69. Ha ha, 69. 69 stones. And I'm going to build a workshop, which I'm going to put right here. And Rollo's up and about. You can hear him shaking around. Um, does it matter how this goes? I don't think so. Let me just put that there, I suppose. Um, okay. Iris, what's up here? Iris 816 flight. Check the smoke to the east of the crash site. Use your map, M or tab button, to not get lost. Not getting lost in the Alaska wilderness in the middle of winter would probably be a good thing. Uh, let me in here. And I think my dog is now wandering around in a place where he should not be. You may actually be able to see him behind you. Um, okay, so I need to upgrade my shelter to level 2 before I can do anything in there. So let's go do that in the shelter. We'll upgrade. There we go. All right, okay. Uh, so we can uh, bone extraction. That sounds pretty serious. Um, stamina, I can do strength 1, which is increases attack power and defense level of the character. And then tactics, terrain orientation, increases sight range and movement speed of the character. Alright, so I need, no matter what I'm doing here, I need more wood and more stone. Um, oh man, I'm freezing, I'm starving, I don't know. Is there anything else? Okay, I can click on that. Mushrooms, mushrooms. Uh, northern mushrooms, edible in critical cases only. There's a... High risk. Oh, good. I'm not going to poison myself. It can be cooked on a fire. All right. Um, so I got one can of food left. I will eat that before anything else. I need, I'm need. i going to go chop down this tree over here. 
I don't know if anybody has seen the movie Into the Wild or read the book. I know that bad things happen when you eat poisonous plants. Not to spoil it, but bad things happen when you eat poisonous plants. And maybe that's not a spoiler. That's just kind of good life advice, I think. All right, so I'm going to eat my final can of uh, whatever this happens to be. And I'm freezing. So let's go in here and craft. I don't know what I'm crafting, but I'm about to freeze. All right, so we're going to go back to the fire because I'm about to freeze here. Oh, come on. No more failure. Thank you. All right. So can I cook these on the fire? Just drag those out? Yep. Okay, so click and drag onto the fire. Um, can I... All right, so now I have fried mushrooms. Juicy, toothsome delicacy. I'm a big fan of mushrooms in general, so I look forward to eating that. Um... I don't know what I need to do over here at my workshop, though. Although I am complete. Okay, the fire's out now. I'm completely out of food. I don't know what healing salve. I imagine that'll come in handy at some point. Um, it says I'm supposed to go east. I don't know how comfortable I am doing that. So one of the things I read says you can fold up your buildings and take them with you. Okay, so it just goes. Oh, it just goes in your inventory. Let's just see what that does. I'm just curious. I mean, I'm pretty much out of food except for <laughs> except for my mushrooms. Um, let's go east and see see what happens. I don't know. Um, this is making me a little nervous. Oh, hey, oh, bunny, get him! I get you, bunny. I'm hungry. Come here. Come here. Oh, he's too fast. He's way too fast. What is this? I hit him. I hit a mountain. That's not. Oh, crap. Now I'm starving. Okay, I'm going to go north and around. That rabbit is not going to let me kill it and eat it. All right, so now I'm freezing. I need to. Can I unpack this? Click and drag it? Nope. All right, okay, so double click it. I'll pop that back. Sure, I don't care. We'll put this out here and do the same thing here because it looks like, oh man, I have to build my fire quickly. I'll just drop that guy there. Yes, just light the fire. <laughs> okay. And I'll eat my mushrooms. And we'll see what that does. Okay, so we're warming up the mushrooms. So I do like the game. Um, the survival, like this is not generally my cup of tea while well, those mushrooms did not do much for my hunger did they oh that's a nice lighting effect in the fire at night that's kind of like that um so I have some good shadows uh, but I, I like i like the look of the game i think um the multiplayer is going to add a lot like i said because then everybody can kind of have their own job do their own thing and then you can through cooperation you're going to survive a lot longer because um, like here, when you've got you're all by yourself and you're trying to, to manage everything, like the rabbit's running away, um, I could see maybe a situation where you can kind of drive the food or the rabbits or the deer or whatever toward your teammates and they can uh, take them out. Um, so I'm about to die. I, at least I'll be warm when I die because I'm starving and that's a terrible feeling. But yeah, so like I said, I'll put links to everything down below in the description. Um, and you know check it out if, it, if this is your thing definitely check it out it's well done like i said it's not the kind of thing that i would probably usually spend a lot of time with but i can tell that it's well done um it feels pretty good depending on where it goes as far as the tech tree and the different options that are available um i can see a lot of a lot of potential and uh possibilities here um so again check it out on uh game jolt right now look for it on steam later in the year but as for now as i die like that uh how do I, what four okay four days of survive, survival that's okay um yeah so go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you would i'd really appreciate that if you do that before you leave um subscribe and leave a comment maybe if you're a game developer and you're watching the video and you're doing something that you'd like me to play on my channel 
let me know. I'll do it. Just leave a message down below. Um, find me on Twitter, uh, big underscore Mike, underscore Mike, whatever. Um, but anyway, thank you all for stopping by, watching the whole entire video. I really appreciate it. Um, this is a little longer than I normally do. Um, so I appreciate that you stuck around until the end. But I will uh, see you all later, guys. Take it easy.